Yeah, I, I, in high school, I was kind of in with the wrong crowd, and um, we always, you know, partied a lot, and uh, things progressed into, you know, things that, you know, really got kind of dark and weren't fun anymore, and uh, I felt my felt myself kind of like stuck in that situation, and um, it took a while for me to get out of it, yeah. Uh, it was, you know, ups and downs as far as um, being out on my own, I think when I was out on my own, I, I was left to my own devices sometimes and that could be a little bit bad. So I, I've learned that uh, I need to be around friends and family more um, than to be on my own. My state of mind was that uh, I didn't really care about myself and I, you know, did things that I would never treat another person, you know, like, like I tra treated myself. And, uh, you know, I've, I've learned to love myself and to uh, appreciate myself and I think having a little, you know, self-confidence um, means a lot. Um, I didn't have any self-confidence back then and I felt like I wasn't really worth anything and that got me into some bad situations. So I went to a very nice rehab in the uh, Poconos in Pennsylvania and I did very well there and it was time to go. Um, I spent as much time as I could there, uh, quite a few months, and uh, it was time to move on to a new place and my parents were upstate and I, I wanted to get in touch with my family again and uh, Binghamton was as close as I could get. Um, I'd never been to Binghamton, I didn't know anything about it and uh, uh, one of my counselors suggested, you know, this place is a very good place and I know about this place, she said, and uh, I, I trusted her and she was very, she was right. And, uh, you know, I got here and everything was, was excellent. Um, the staff here is excellent. Uh, the director is excellent and uh, they really helped me, they really care. I had never been in a shelter, I'd always been either at home, living at home or in an apartment on my own and this was a completely new environment to me. Um, you know, rehab kind of set me, you know, w was a little bit like this but, but uh, quite more, like a little more structured. Um, but, you know, uh, no, I had, I had never experienced anything like this before and I'm, I'm glad that I had people that cared about me when I got here. and you know, really, really took care of me, so. Yeah. My hopes for the future is to complete my training um, uh, at the supermarket I am now and, and, be, and get the position that I'm looking for, that I'm training for, and uh, be able to enjoy my life, you know, be able to take some good vacations, be able to, you know, for once be making, uh, you know, a living for myself and uh, enjoying life. Uh, you know, maybe taking some vacations, uh, you know, I'd like to, I, I love history, I'd like to go see, you know, maybe uh, Greece or Rome or maybe even Egypt, um, I love stuff like that. So yeah, I'd like to just uh, enjoy my life and, um, you know, get out there and see the world. I was so happy, yeah, the first thing I wanted to do was tell my mom because I want to give her good news as much as possible, you know, and that's... You know, I was just I was just over the moon and she was too. I would just say thank you so much for everything you've done. Um, you made all the difference uh, to me in my life and now things are, are going so great and this place gives people a second chance, a third chance, a fourth chance maybe um, and people can change and this place facilitates that. Um, if you want to change and you want to do well, this is the place for you to do it and you can do it. So yeah, I would say thank you so much.